Michael Joseph Maloney, DMG2. And before I got out, uh, I wanted to learn something other than being a gutter thing. So um, they set me up for uh, on the job training with a company called Packer Bells, or Teledyne Packer Bells. So there were two different companies that came out of that one. And uh, I learned how to fix TVs. So when I got back to uh, Nebraska, I uh, went to work for a guy and he knew I was green around the gills, but he gave me enough uh, knowledge and attention that within six months I was out doing service calls and been doing it ever since. Well, not TVs, but then in electronics. Uh, after I got through working with him, I went to work as a uh, Biomed instrumentation technician for the University of Nebraska Medical Center, which uh, is very intricate, uh, less stressful because you're you have enough time to fix things the right way because they definitely don't want those to break down when they're hooked up to somebody. So, and I would have probably stayed there, but I was making good money, and then they said, "Okay, now you're going to be uh, assigned a, a shift and all this other good stuff." and now you have to get the same type of insurance that the nurses and doctors get. Well, that kind of took the pay uh, out of the situation. It was like, I think I'll go back to commercial repairs and uh, make the money that I know I can. And it fell from there. I actually got a master's degree in computer uh, science and went on to computers. Uh, I was one of the first service managers at uh, Rockbrook Village uh, Computer Lab. Uh, First uh, PC, two five and a quarter inch floppy drive, the 8088 processor, a 64K of memory. And you could have either a green screen or an orange screen. It was about $10,000 that are quite expensive back then. And then just excel from there. I, uh, my last job before I retired was a uh, senior field engineer for Hewlett Packard, taking care of all of Nebraska, all of Iowa, and everything else. Just working on some pretty complicated equipment too between high-speed uh, color printers and eight, that's eight color printers that can do a thousand pages a minute. Yeah, very interesting. Yeah, my mind is like a sponge, you know, just keep feeding me stuff. I want to work on a new one. Uh, the latex plotters that came out, uh, they're six feet wide or six feet long. Uh, they use latex and that's what they use to wrap cards with. So they'll pay, uh, make a printout, uh, Cut it. They had cutters and everything. They would cut the designs out, and then they would stick it to automobiles, which was kind of weird. I had a special school in California I had to go through to do that too. So I have enough uh, certificates and plaques that uh, my office has one whole wall with nothing but training certificates. So I do know the rest of the story.